Okay, so here we have a problem. It's asking for the sum of five consecutive integers. Is five. It's telling us that the sum of five consecutive integers is 500. And it's asking us, what is the third number in the sequence? All right, so what we know, let's we'll try to dissect the problem. We're dealing with the sum of five numbers, and uh, I'm going to use unknown numbers. I'm representing them with variables. So I'm going to say a plus b plus c plus d plus e equals 500. And we know that because, again, the sum is telling us that the addition of five consecutive integers is 500. I chose to use variables because we don't know what any of these numbers are. Now, it's asking for specifically the third number in the sequence, sequence which happens to be this, this one right here. Uh, this is the first number, the second, the third, which is the one we're looking for, the fourth, and the fifth. Now, we're going to kind of continue on with this, uh, this whole variable thought process and, and take it one step further. But before we do that, I want you to think about what consecutive actually means. So when we hear the word consecutive, it just means uh, the next number following the previous. So it, and it can start at any point. Um, so generally when you count, you start at 1, and you go to 2, and 3, and 4, and so on. But if we started at 43... The next consecutive numbers in the sequence would be 44, a little delayed writing here, 44, 45, and I'm sure you kind of got the gist of it by now. But at any point, we need to know what numbers are the ones following it. But I want to use some of the numbers that I put up there and have you think about them for a little bit. The relationship between 1 and 2 is we take this number and add 1 to it. The relationship between 1 and 3 is you take this number and add 2, and so on to 4. So likewise, between 43 and 44, it's a change of 1, and from 43 to 45, it's a change of 2. It doesn't matter where we start, we know that the second number in the sequence is going to be 2 away from our original starting number. So let's use that down here for this problem. We don't know where they start, so we're going to represent that with x instead. However, we know the next number after x must be whatever x is plus 1, similar to the problem you showed above. 2 is the next number after 1, and it is found by adding 1 to 1. The third number in the sequence is going to be whatever x is plus 2 representing like 3 in this case, or 45. Now we're just going to continue this pattern on. So d would be whatever x is plus 3. And the following one would be plus whatever x is 4. Now that gives us our fifth term in the sequence, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And we know that these five consecutive integers will add up to 500. But now that we know this, and since we base this whole problem off of one unknown, we can combine like terms and solve for this, this unknown. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. So we'll write down 5 x. And we'll combine all of the other constants in here. So we have 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So our integers add up to 5, there are 5, not integers, variables, there are 5 x's, there plus 10, and this equals 500. Now at this point we have a two-step equation. We can uh, begin isolating for the variable we need. So we'll use inverse operations, subtract 10, subtract 10 from this side, keeping it balanced. And another good organizational tip is to draw this line down to remember that there are two sides of an equation. Now, 5x equals and uh, 490. 490 divided by 5 is going to be, I calculate that real quick, 98. So we've concluded that x equals 98. And we found an answer. 
However, that's not the answer that we're looking for. We found the first term in the sequence, which is 98. Remember, this problem is asking for the third term. So we'll plug in x for the third term, 1, 2, 3. 98 plus 2 tells us that the third term in the sequence is 100. Or if you felt more comfortable, you could have just continued counting on from the 98. So 98, 99, 100, 101, 102. All of these numbers would add up to have a sum of 500. 